हेलो चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास सो टुडे आई एम हेयर विथ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटांसेस बट बिफोर मूविंग थ्रू दिस सेकेंड पार्ट लेटस चेक आवर प्रीवियस नॉलेज means what we have studied in this chapter till now what have we studied in the first part of this chapter so we have studied what is pure substance what is mixture what is homogeneous mixture and what is heterogeneous mixture now let us proceed with today's topic our today's topic is the reason for separation of substances and the methods of the separation of substances or separation of the components of mixture so students here are some examples of mixture which we have studied in our last class see here it is a bunch of fruits so many different fruits are there but suppose if you want to eat only apples what would you do you would start picking up the apples from this bunch isn't it that means you will start separating them right you will start separating so what you are doing separating right this is the reason of separation right see this second example would you like to have the tea without filtering definitely not you want first of all you will filter it only then you can have it isn't it so again what are you doing you are separating the tea leaves from the tea right again you are doing separation see this third picture here the pebbles are mixed with the rice it is a mixture of rice and pebbles would you like to consume this type of rice i mean cooked rice obviously not what you will do first you will pick up the pebbles from this rice only then you will cook it and eat it so you saw that here on the all these three examples what did we do we separated the components of the mixture why for making them usable so what is the reason for separation of substances to make them usable right now we will see the methods of separation right there are different methods for the separation of the components of mixture so that we can make them usable but before discussing the methods we should know that mixture mixture it can be divided into three categories right it can be mixture of solids with solids example is the mixture of rice and pebble second can be the mixture of solids with liquids example can be sugar in water and third is the mixture of liquids with liquids example is mustard oil in water so for these three, uh, three different types of mixtures there are different methods of separation now we will see one by one so first we will see the mixture of solids with solids so what are the different methods of separation of this type of mixture well the first method is hand picking what is it hand picking hand picking is used for the separation of the components of a mixture which are different in color size 
and shape different in color shape and size right here in this method we pick the uh, particles from the mixture and take them away from the mixture right so you um, housewives often clean pulses and spices by this method they remove small pebbles and other unwanted materials using this method you must have seen your mom now picking up stones from the rice before cooking isn't it suppose you don't uh, love to eat capsicum you don't like capsicum then what will have to do you have to pick up the capsicum pieces of capsicum from this pulao before consuming so here what you are doing you are hand picking now you are picking with your hand in the same way here you see uh, some unwanted materials are mixed with the pulse right so we have to separate those unwanted materials so we separate those things by picking them right so all these are the examples of hand picking by picking them we can separate the unwanted or even sometimes it is wanted also as you saw in the example of fruits by picking them with our hands now come to the second method of separation of the mixture of solid and solid so what is the second method it is threshing right so threshing is the process of separation of grains from stalks right grains from stalks uh, once the wheat right wheat has been harvested the stalk are dried see the stalks are dried then each grain needs to be separated now these grains they need to be separated from the stalk with which it is attached and this is done by this method threshing if we think about rice grains okay uh, do we directly get rice grains from the plant no so when you look at the plants uh, they look uh, something like this no they have this uh, stalk right they have this uh, stalk like a structure or you can say stem or whatever and on these stalks there are these grains right these uh, brown colored structure you can see so these are the grains and which are again enclosed in a covering something like this now inside these covering inside this the rice grains are present and it is this rice which we need isn't it do we need this do we need this no we need only this we need only rice grains and when we look at the entire process of getting rice grains from the plant there are lots of steps first we need to separate the grains from the stalk we need to separate these grains from this stalk now one single stalk can have multiple seeds right you can see here one single stalk it has multiple seeds now so this separation is done by threshing now manually by our hands we cannot pluck seeds one by one so how it is done 
it is done by the beating the grains with a special agricultural tool you can see here in the picture these people they are beating the grains right see here with this tool they also have tool in their hand right so they are beating the grain with a special tool and when it is beaten the stalks and grains they get separated because they are not very strongly attached to each other and all this process is manual and it is very tiring so sometimes threshing is also done with the help of animals here you see threshing is being done with the help of animals here animals are made to walk or run on the grains and these two methods means uh, by the people the human beings they are doing themselves with the help of some tool or they are taking help of animals so these two methods they are actually the traditional methods of threshing however these days some modern methods have come up where manual effort is replaced by machine right and this machine is called combine here you can see in this picture so this machine is called combine this machine does harvesting as well as threshing so here i have written already right it does both harvesting and threshing now what is harvesting harvesting is simply the cutting of crops when it gets ready so when crops they get ready in farm they get cut so this process is called harvesting and both of these processes means harvesting means cutting the crops from the field and threshing means uh, separation of the grains from the st uh, stalk both of these processes can be done with this machine this is called combine so this uh, machine how does it work it goes on cutting the crops from one side as you can see here from this side and uh, the crop is being cut right and within the machine itself threshing is done right threshing also it's uh, it goes on uh, being done that means the stalks get separated from the grains uh, and go on collected in grain tank right this is the grain tank so the separated grains the threshed up grains they go on um, get collected right in these tanks and whatever the unwanted materials are there they go on falling from the back of the machine as you can see here here in the back side so whatever the unwanted things are there they are thrown off from the back side of the machine so this was all about the threshing so what did we see that uh, threshing can be done in three ways by manually or with the help of animals or with the help of machine that is combine so that's all for today's video today we discussed two of the methods of separation of a mixture of solid and solid in our next class we will discuss some more methods of the separation of the same type of mixture means the mixture of solid and solid thank you